sectors. I'd like to welcome everyone here on Dungati Country. We are the saltwater people. We are celebrating the life of our brother Trevor. Send him on to the dream time. So I'm going to ask Uncle Ben to come up for us now. All right, and this first dance that we're going to do is called Baramba. <laughs> A very big word for a very small bird who speaks of the Willy Wagtail. And he once was a warrior and his tribe conspired to murder him. But what he did was turn himself into the Willy Wagtail and fly away. All right, this is called Jirigi Jajiro. Jirigi Jajiro. I did it again. 
So the next dance is our pelican dance, our mimicry dance. And it seems odd and we dance of the pelicans here that fly around our mission. They fly high up in the sky. Then they come over to our creek here, our back creek, and they eat up all the mud and all the brim in, our, in the back creek. So this is our mimicry dance about our pelicans that fly around our mission.
Okay, I'm going to pour out to start. Cheryl, do, do welcome. Welcome. Hello everyone, welcome to this big beautiful country we got here, Southwest Rock. Tangari country, a mountain to the sea, as far as the eye can see, big beautiful country. I'd like to welcome you here to Southwest Rocks. I'll do the, our the traditional welcome to country in Dangari language. And I will translate that into English. Today, it's for you, my brother, my little brother. Yawai. Tangari Gutambari Ditten. Ninabu Bitta, Ninabu War, Wa Boko. Mandunakai, Mulamangu. Tangari Gutambari Ditten. Tangu Bari. Danang, Maranga, Barrier. What I said there is hello everyone, welcome. This is Dangari country. This is also the saltwater people from our mountains to the sea, our rivers, our hills, our plains. This is also my country. And all you here today, you are all welcome to celebrate my brother, his life on country, his upbringing here on country. And we will be taking him back to his country too, also at war up to his family where he lived most of his uh, life with his family. So I'd like to say, say to Angela and the girls, okay, thank you darling for allowing for us to do this ceremony with dad and our brother and Marambu, thank you very much. I know he's here with us and I know that all the ancestor spirits are here and we always believe in the dream time. And this is a culture dreaming and we will be sending them home to the dream of them. Marambu. Thank you, Sister Cheryl. So I'm just going to read a little letter I wrote when I was laying in bed and thinking of our brother. But um, just a little letter, because the rest I've got to keep and take with me. Our hearts are broken, but it's broken even more. We didn't get to say, see you later, or I love you. You went too soon. The pain you went through was so unbearable, but you stayed strong for us. Trevor, helped us see, see things in a different way and made sure we always kept our heads held high with love and strength. He always said, I'm just gonna keep on doing what I love doing. So he did and said, he ain't gonna sit around and wait for time to stop still. Trevor and his brothers always messed around with cars. So if you see that car at the front, that tree at the front of Mummy's, and there's another tree at the back. So back then, before the Hades, if um, back then we didn't have a hoist, their hoist was a chain chucking over that tree. They can pull a motor out and pull it to bits and put it back together again and put it back in. And only one nephew out of all of the nephews, and the son, John. Little Johnny Roberts took on that role, fixing cars. So if you ever break down or whatever, give John a phone call. Yeah, so... Um, 
so it didn't matter if the car was in good condition, they'll still rearrange it just to put something extra in or take something out. But most of all, than life itself, he loved his family first, besides his Olin V8. And I can't forget the spotlights on the car and them rims. He loved changing the rims probably every 12 months. Now we know all the pain you carried is gone and you left this well with a smile on your face, brother. So we know now you are going to be in a better place with dad and mum and the rest of our family and waiting for us to come through. We are going to miss you deeply and one day we will see you in the dream time with that big smile on your face. Love you always, our brother, Trevor James. So we're just going to play one song for me sisters. Sister Nugget, hello. Sister Nugget doing decent sprinkling for us, and Nisi too. And that water is from the sea.
So we're going to do the eulogy now. I wish I can see you one more time, come walking through the door, but I know that is impossible. I will hear your voice no more. I know you can feel my tears, and you don't want me to cry yet. My heart is broken because I can't understand why someone so precious had to die. I pray that God will give me strength and um, somehow get me through as a struggle with my heart heartache that came when I lost you. Love you, Paul. The best Paul ever. Love Tisha May and Tawai. So we're going to do the eulogy now. that don't know who we are. We are Trevor and Angela's three daughters, Casey, Charlene and Ashley. We would like to tell you all about the life of our very strong, protective, proud, Dungutty man, our father, Trevor James Roberts.
Dad was born in Armidale Hospital on the 1st of the 3rd, 63. He was the baby boy of Stephen Roberts and Frida Roberts Nee Vale. Dad was beloved brother of 11, 11 siblings to Stephen, Hazel, Ivan, Fred, John, Dorothy, Cheryl, Athel, Richard. Four years later came the twins Jacqueline and Stephen. Throughout Dad's childhood and teenage years, he attended schools at Armidale, Kempsey, Kinchula and Southwest Rocks. He shared his early years with his family, Southwest Rocks, and extended family in Armidale, Tamworth, Kempsey, and Tinga. He loved all of his family members who he shared his early years with near and far, and still had that close connection till this day. He spent a lot of time tripping around Tamworth, Armidale, Southwest Rocks, Tinga, Kempsey, and Sydney. He spent a lot of time at Tinga with his older sister, Annie Cheryl, and Uncle Greg riding motorbikes, being taught on how to fix cars and going hunting. He loved going out to Tinga from some of the stories we have heard about our father from his younger years. He was a bit of a wild child and kept those stories close to his heart because whenever us girls would torment him about them, he would... In his growly voice, he would tell us to go away and never mind. And I hope one day we'll find out all of his secrets. Later on, when Dad turned 18, he met the love of his life, our mother Angela Roberts, Nee Donovan. Mum spent the weekend in Kempsey with her sister cousins and attended the pop shop dance, where she never thought she'd meet the love of her life on Christmas Eve in 81. Dad approached her and asked if she wanted to dance. They later met, they later met on New Year's night back at the pop shop and drove to Freda for another dance. After that had finished, they drove back to Kempsey where Dad's car got a flat battery and he walked her back to Tozer Street where she was staying for the weekend at Uncle Bill Morris's home. When the weekend was over, Mum went back home to walk her to her one-year-old Trevor son. He was being looked after by Nan Francis and Pop Amos. A few weeks later, Dad moved to Warhope to live with her, with Mum and her son Trevor, who he... who he loved and raised as his own. They lived in Bly Street with Nan and Pop. When Dad moved over to Warhope to be with Mum, Dad changed his ways. And this is where Mum and Dad's 42 year love story began. In October 82, Mum and Dad welcomed their first daughter, Casey Jane, who was born at Port Base. The following year, Mum and Dad got married. On the 21st of May 83, in front of all their loved ones, one year later, they moved into their own place in High Street, Warhope. Two years later on, they had welcomed their second daughter in October 85, Charlene N.K., also born in Port Base. Three years later, in December 88, the baby girl of the family, Ashley Frances May, was born. We spent 12 years living in High Street where we had very fond memories of growing, of their family growing until they moved to Quarrel Circuit. This year they celebrate their 40th Ruby wedding anniversary. Dad worked many years doing a variety of work, handyman, mowing lawns and site officer at the Bunya Lens Council. He was also one of the work workers who helped build the Quarrel Dam and Warhope, a project that Bunya Land Council had collaborated with Hastings Council and the New South Wales State Forestry. He loved his work and being out in the open, working alongside family and friends up until the end of 22. In 04, Dad became a proud grandfather to his special boy, Donovan. It's the first moment Dad seen and held, held him his words, well, I'll be your dad, I'm your dad. You were Donovan's first word, da. His past 19 years, the bond and connection they both formed was indescribable. In 09, Dad was admitted to Port Base Hospital due to chest pains, which resulted in him having his first heart attack. 
Dad was then transported to Prince of Wales Hospital in Sydney where he had his first triple bypass. This experience frightened and this experience frightened and scared Dad and he knew he had to change his change his ways. For someone who's smoked since his teenage years, he found it challenging and frustrating to fully quit smoking, but he did for two years. But because he was a stubborn man, he went back to his old ways. In 2011, Dad's, Dad's little twin Tyrone came along, and Dad loved the fact that Tyrone was his little mini version of himself in every way, from his looks to his stubbornness. He would never get angry at him. He'd always just grin and wink. Two years later, Pop's princess was born to Shemay. Let's say, just say she couldn't say or do anything wrong in his eyes. She always needed Pop's approval, even when he didn't want to give it, but he had to. Watching Dad become a grandfather, we've seen different versions of him. His grandchildren made him soft and patient. Dad loves spoiling his grandchildren with love, affection and money. Dad was proud of his grandchildren and always made it clear that he loved them no matter what. <coughs> We'd always mention to Dad, he was not like this with us growing up. He'd always say to us, it's a different kind of love when it comes to your grandbabies. In November 21, Dad was rushed to Port Base due to having chest pains which resulted in, in him having cardiac arrest where they resuscitated him and brought him back to us. Dad was rushed to Sydney Hospital for the second time where they implemented a pacemaker and a defibrillator. Dad was aware from then on his lifestyle had to change, which he struggled with badly because it took his independence away. As he sat and watched his daughters and wife take over responsibilities that were in his eyes, only his. He had to stop smoking, he couldn't drive for six months and was limited to a lot of things that he enjoyed or loved, like working on his car. Dad would push his limits when it came to daily things and ended up frustrated with himself because his body couldn't do the things that he wanted to. Over the last 12 months, Dad has been in and out of hospital due to having minor heart attacks. We sat with him. And he told us, just let me do what I want when I want, but made us promise to let him pass at home, which we were grateful and blessed to have him for those extra 22 months. <laughs> September the 12th, you worked on your car like usual. And even though we could see that you didn't look right, we couldn't say anything and let you do what you loved. That night you was in pain and brushed it off like you usually would. Later that night you passed in a dream in, in the arms of your daughters, Ashley and Charlene. <laughs> After several family members tried to save you, it was just your time to go. <laughs> You have left a big hole in many of your Roberts and Donovan family hearts. Who will they, who will they get seafood for now? And who will they threaten the boys with? Can't call Uncle Trev no more. You were the one they would go for advice about cars or help fix their cars. Who will they now show off their Holden Commodores to or their new cars? No matter what they knew, if they could, they could count on you if they asked. This has, this has been the hardest part of our lives so far. How can we go and say goodbye to someone who don't know, how we don't know how to live without? You have been our rock, our protector and our strength. Knowing you're not in pain anymore should make things easier, but it doesn't. We sit and think about all the what ifs and how comes. We sit and think of mum and how can she let go of someone who was her best friend? 
her husband for 40 years. Her everything for over 42 years. Our skills and Donovan will try to pull that Trevor Roberts strength that you have embedded in us. And we'll look after mum just like we did with you. We just want to thank you dad for the life you have given us. For always being there when we needed you. Being your supporter. Showing us unconditional love. Teaching us what's right and wrong and how to become a better person. Someone we could rely on no matter what. You were truly one of a kind and we were blessed to have you in our lives. You'll be sadly missed by everyone. Love you always and forever. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley. That was beautiful. And I want to thank you all for being in manly colours today. You look beautiful. Our brother would have been so proud to see so many of his mob in manly colours. So now I'm going to call up Uncle Jim. Uncle Jim is a, one of our family. And um, he's always been our pastor through and through. Uncle Jim... family has asked me to, to have a prayer before we start. Father God, we want to thank you, Lord, for your creation, Lord. We want to thank you for connecting Mother Hairs to our people, Lord. Lord, we want to thank you for the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that we need at this time, Lord, to encourage Angel and, and their family, Lord, their siblings. Lord, we want to thank you for being with the Donovans and the Roberts family at this time, Lord, and those who connect so closely to them, Lord. Lord, we want to praise you for the mem many memories that are embedded in Angel and his, son and his daughter and son, Lord, that, and his grannies that um, they will never forget it. Lord, we just want to uh, praise you. And we ask these things in your precious name, Jesus. Amen. So now I'm going to call his oldest brother, John Roberts, who's going to have a little speech for you. When I used to do every now and now, I used to go to the, 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 the Sunday school in the early 60s. And they built them every new houses there on the, the mission, they, they all rubbish, the, the, the dump. And I used to go to the, the Sunday school there, the, the Seven Day Venice. They built a Sunday school there at the, on the, 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 the mission there, and they built a the, 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 the soup kitchen. And after a while, Another fella came along then, on a, a Sunday, he bought apples. And when I went to school, I listened to the, the word of God. He was at high school. And one day, I, I asked Georgie, the doc would pull out of his car. 
Mind you push bike. Going on back to school, halfway, you know, arm down school. I took my eyes off the road I did and I looked at the school teacher. When I turned back, I smashed the bike up I did. And I to take it home, to carry it home. And I fixed it up when I went home. And not long after, I was walking down that Armdale Road, the Mission Road they call it. And uh, like Archie wrote, he said, the old Mission Road. I walked down that uh, old Mission Road, and then, then, then late in the evening, with my push bike, and I seen this black person walking down the road, coming t -t -t towards me. I got off my push bike and I fixed up stones and then I told him I did. And then you go there, you go about the hedge around him. And that person stood still and said, I knew you from the beginning. I knew you from the beginning in your mother's womb. And he stayed there for a couple of seconds and he went back. I stayed with my push bike, see where he's going. He went out to Chuchu Chuchu and Alice. When he went out to Chuchu Chuchu and Alice, the nights were on. When he got to that old Chuchu and Alice house, a big bright light, and hit the ground. The hair swelled, the hair opened up. The, 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 the demon, he went back into the earth. He shut back up and did. And this, this is a story I want to tell about it. Because my brother, he gave his heart to the Lord, he did. When he went down to Sydney, they mean them to pay for him, he gave his heart to the Lord. None of this, none of this dream time. Because I seen that the demon went into hell and went back because I had a hedge around me. And uh, this is what I'm going to say before I give it back. And, and Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me will live even though he die. And whoever lives and believes in me will never die. But you, but you believe this. Because I seen the, the, the demon went in the hell. And that was a little light. I seen another light. Seen another night down in at, at Tamworth. And my sister was there going down there too. My sister used to go over to the artist's place. And I used to go over to my uncle's place. When she, my sister went over to the artist's place, he found a boyfriend run there. She met her husband there then, in over my artist's place, and I met my wife over at Dick's. Uncle, Dix. uncle not. Uncle. I met him there, and went, one day I went over to a place, and I, the light wasn't going in the bathroom, so I had to fix it up and run the light, and I slammed the cupboard door, I slammed the cupboard the door, and the electricity got hold of me, my left hand, and he had about two or three seconds, two or three seconds and minutes I leave what I'm going to do, start flicking, and the light went off. And I was the light. I said, let your light shine before man. And then we seen the light she did, and she moved back for me. And the three kids was in the bathtub. They didn't say a word, didn't say anything. They didn't even move. And this electric killing this machine was in my hand. I couldn't even move, couldn't say, I couldn't move it, but I couldn't go any further. And I heard this quite still voice. I heard a quite still voice, you touch him, you'll kill him. And so I moved back from the bathtub with this electricity in my hand, a killing machine, and these three kids in the bathtub, they stood still, they didn't say a word, they didn't even splash, and then they moved away from me. I'm, I'm, I'm either way. And, and Jesus said, I laid down my life for you. So I laid down my life for them kids. And then I seen a vision then. Without a vision and man to perish, I seen spiritually in my life. I seen a death pass from me. I used to play marbles then. I seen the little the marble, the darkness rolling past from me. And I seen the, 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 the light then, a little marble light. 
And I reached out in my right hand and I got healed. And I got set free because I pinned to the ground. I couldn't get up. I reached out with my right hand and I got healed. And I got set free. Jesus said, the way. Because my brother's going home. He's no dream time day. He's going home to Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Thank you, Brother John, for that. And while we're getting Angela and Catherine up, can I call Poppy Bill up, please? just going to do the responsorial psalm. <clears throat> the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the, <laughs> are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these you give me comfort. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all these days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Thank you there, ladies. So now I want to call Poppy Bill up. I don't... I want to thank you all for coming and sharing in the memories of Trevor, the life and the death. But I want to Thank you most of all for being with one another and strengthening one another. Like my nephew said, John, we believe in we don't believe in the dreaming, but we believe in God Almighty. We are ministers of the gospel. And it says in Jude, no? Uh, that they were snatched from the fiery furnace and even their garments were scorched from going to a place of lost eternity. A lot of our people believe in the big snake, the rainbow snake. The rainbow snake never died for no one. It is only Jesus Christ who died and rose again on the third day. And he said before he went, do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house there are many mansions and I go to prepare a place for you. And where I am, you may be also. 
And there was one man, one of his friends said, Lord, how do we know where you are? And how can we get there? And Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to God except by me. So it's an invitation for each and every one of us out here today. Out here today. Don't leave it too late. Because we might never, ever get a second chance. Because the Word of God says, now is the accepted time. Today, right now, not tomorrow, not the next hour, because we don't know what the next hour leaves us. How will we stand before Jesus Christ on Judgment Day? I know my nephew is going to stand there and God is going to say, well done, good and faithful servant. What is your answer going to be? God loves you. Or otherwise he would have never ever sent Jesus to die for us. Thank you, Poppy Bill. We're just going to play one song for you. And I've seen on the pamphlet there if anyone would like to speak. We're going to leave that for over there because... We are really running on a time schedule here. So, um, Lana just going to play one song for us.
Thank you, Lionel. So um, I'm just going to give the family a minute there with him. So um, when we leave here, we're going to do one little family road trip with our brother. And um, this is something we do with all our loved ones that we send on. So while we're doing this, we're going to ask you, can you make your way to War Oak Cemetery? And um, and we shouldn't be that far behind you. And before you leave, we should have some morning tea up there at Sister Cheryl's. Water, juice, biscuits, cakes. Soup and damper. She got soup and damper too. But um, and when we finish at the wake over there, we're going to the country golf club. At war. So now I'm going to call Uncle Jim up to uh, do this last prayer for us. I want to say, you know, Trev had a lot of knowledge and wisdom about cars especially the Holden V8. But I spoke to him one day about what I had in my car and I told him I had a 308 Stroker. And he said, and he asked me, ain't that, or he said to me, ain't that equivalent to a, a, 350, a 350 Chev? I said, yeah, brother. But this one got a 750 double pumper, Ollie. Wow, he went like that. You know, um, when we think about God's plan for our lives, we often end up wondering about a different question entirely. What about our plan for our lives? We fascinate about where we, who we supposed to marry, what job we supposed to take, or where we supposed to live, or what element in life that we should pursue our happiness. Trev made it a reality of marrying his first love annually. They had siblings and where are you supposed to work he had a passion for sight offs and getting out on country and where are you supposed to live well he made a statement about it that he was going to war up and live the rest of his life there and the element of life that he chewed the olden VH. I don't know about much of you of that, but the olden B8 won 166 races at Baffin. Ford 129. He loved them VH forever up. You know, um, what we forget is that God's plan for us is far greater than our own to save others with a tender hearted and goodness and kindness. There's a story in the Bible it's found in <coughs> it's found in Luke ten twenty five to thirty seven. It goes like this an expert of the law tested Jesus and said Look what must I do to have eternal life? He said, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your strength and with all your mind and with all your soul. And love your neighbors as well. Trevor fulfilled that too because he had a tender heart in to help out and reach others. 
And it goes on and it says that there was a there was a priest that walked by down the road and he seen this man half dead, stripped and, and naked and half dead. He walked past him. And another a Levite was a prominent man in the church. He done the same. But this good Samaritan came and seen him. He walked over to him, put olive oil and wine on him and bandaged him up, put him on his donkey and took him back to the inner and asked the inner keeper to, to watch over him till he come back. The greatest good Samaritan ever walked on this earth was our Lord Jesus Christ. And he promised to come back. Those who believe and with a tender hearted and to be kind and loving others, and to serve others. That was the purpose of humanity that Jesus comes down for. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father God, we want to thank you and praise you, Lord, for your love, Lord, that you demonstrated on the cross. But not only demonstrated, Lord, to, to choose to die on the cross, Lord, to save all humanity, Lord. Lord, there's so much pain and agony within our family, Lord, and so much bitterness, Lord, that we ask you for the power of the Holy Spirit to embed the character of Christ in our heart, Lord, and our mind, so we can share it. I like Trev shared his, Lord, the gifts that he had with a true mechanic, Lord. And Lord, our life is like putting cars together, Lord. But it won't be fulfilled, Lord, until we have Jesus Christ in our heart. Lord, help us to reach out and touch and, and help the needs of others, Lord. We pray and thank you in your wonderful name. Amen. Thank you, Uncle Jim. So now we're going to keep that, that hallway clear. So we're going to, the family, step back. And we're going to have the ones up here that's going to walk him out. On him, Maz. Catherine here, Catherine C, Elizabeth, Louise, can we have you ladies up the front to take Uncle Trevor out please? I'm 
Lionel, do you want to... Ready? Okay, turn him.
I would like to thank everyone for traveling traveling this distance. That was Travis' journey back home here, for up where he lived all his life with his children and his wife. I want to thank you for traveling, and when you leave here, don't leave here sad. Walk away with a smile on your face and think of the good times you had with him. So now I'm going to pass this over to Sister Hazel for you. Um, I'd just like to thank Sister Angela and your beautiful family. Well, not only did she um, do the prayer, to do the prayer, but also I'd like to say, as a, as um, I'm a Christian too, and I also believe that God has given us our culture. We are beautiful First Nation people. And I'll tell you something. Like, you go, um, I go when, when you go to, well, churches, right? Like, I'll, I'll say this, no one be offended, please. Uh, Catholic church, you know, in Armour, we, we have our funerals and that there, you know, and there's a, there's, there's a real, when you do it culture way, there's such a difference. It's like it takes a sting out of death. And, you know, I applaud my sister, beautiful sister Cheryl, and a beautiful family. Because, like, true is honest, I know we, we, we remember our beautiful brother, we, we celebrate in the life he lived. But this here, it's, I can feel so much love, a strong connection, you know? A strong connection. And, um, yes, yeah, so, um, God, we are people of spirit. And, you know, uh, we, we, um, we know the spirit realm because, you know, we, we live it. We, we are spiritual people. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to say the prayer. And, um, yeah, so uh, I pray. Prayer for the passion of a loved one. Baba, Father of all, you gave us a dreaming. When you made the Aboriginal people in the beginning, through our great ancestral beings, you formed our homeland, our rivers, sea coast, and island. You gave us our sacred places and our laws and tradition. So we are blessed people. Then after thousands of years, you sent your son, Jesus. And this is where the connection, you know, it comes together. True is on, it comes together. And after a thousand years, you sent your son, Jesus, to live as one of us in poverty and oppression. He underwent the great passing of death and then rose to life again to prepare a place for each of us in the resurrection, which is in the fullness of the dreaming. In sorrow we offer to you, Baba, the body and the spirit of our beloved Francis. We know that his spirit is now free. Comfort and console his family and friends, and grant him eternal peace in Mother Earth. And among our honoured ancestors, we make this prayer through Jesus, our great ancestor in faith. Amen. And so be it. Thank you, Sister Hazel. Okay, Uncle Jim. I want to thank those who come, who travel near and far, to come and pay their respect and the memory that embedded in their heart to share the story about Travis. The first Thessalonian 4 and 13, he said, Brother and sister, we do not want you to be uninformed about those who have fallen asleep in death so that you do not grieve like the rest of mankind who have no hope. For we believe that Jesus died and rose again. And so we believe that God will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him according to the Lord's word. We tell you that we who are still alive, who are left until the coming of the, of the Lord, will certainly not perceive those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with the loud command, with the voice of the archangel and the trump 
call of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we believe with the Lord forever. Therefore, courage each other with these words. Paul emphasized on, on love, but not just love, productive love, to motivate each and every one of us, to encourage the needs of families, such as Angela's family needs just today. and the Roberts and the Donovan family. Paul said that there'd be a loud cry. The call of God will open one day this grave. And because of Trevor kind hearted on helping the needs of others, what our good Lord asks us to do to serve each other. I believe that this grave will be opened up and Trevor will meet his maker. Before we um, say our committal, for those who have flowers, come to uh, and put it on, on please. Before we uh, do the committal, we'll ask Jamie, Mrs. Donovan, come and do the welcome to country. Um, it's my honour to do this welcome to country for Uncle Trev, for Auntie Angela, the girls, and my brother Trevor Roberts, who couldn't be here also. We are Bunyura, Guji Yigo, Barabar Yiti, Jamie Donovan, Nata Birupai Waramai Banjalanguri, Nata Joelin Gatang, Nata Barabar Baraiga Yapan Yapan, Marambu Barabar Gawan, Guri Milwu, Gatam Bigo. Dan Ban, Dumul Marung, Katai Murung, Bilaga Narangba Guba, Yakuma Jaku, Gadigogu, Gimbagu, Marumbu. What I've said is hello to you all. Welcome, everybody. My name is Jamie Donovan. I'm a proud Birupai Waramai Bunjalung man, and I'm speaking to you in the land language of the Bunj uh, Gatang language of the Birupai people. This country here is known as War Hope, but we call it Yapan Yapan. Thank you to my uncle, gentleman, strong leader. Keep good and go well in the rivers of the dreaming. Sending love to all of our family, friends, and everyone that's travelled far and near. Thank you. Thank you for that, Jamie. Anyone that would like to come up and say something, please do so. I know you've all got a lot of stories. 
Hello, uh, my name's Christy. I'm Uncle Trevor's niece from South Coast Rocks. Um, um, my sister Casey wanted me to read this out um, for you all. It's, you know, Uncle Trev loved his cars, you know. Everyone knows that. So um, she wanted me to read this. It's called Fast Car. Like the car he drives, he, he will pass you in the fast lane of life. Like the blaring music from his car, he loves life and a good joke. Like the roaring engine of his car, his temper will take off like a racer to the finish line. With his fast car, he ran straight through everyone's heart. I can't see. When his engine went, he went along with his fast car to heaven, going fast as he could down the road of eternal sleep. While he lies in the eternal sleep, never to wake, his fast cars lies with him. Love you, my uncle. Thank you for that, Christy. So anyone want to come up and say something? Don't on. Say something for Dad? Okay. I'm going to pass it back to Uncle Trevor. For as much as God in his goodness and his outworking of his providence has permitted our brother, husband, dad, and cousin has lied down the burden of his life, we do lovely commit his body to the ground. Remembrance of our dear Jimmy, that all the issues of life are in the hand of the everlasting Father of love and compassion, and that he has permitted eternal life to those who love him. Ashes to the ashes, death to the death. Father God, we will thank you, Lord, for the many remembrance of Trev, Lord, and in relationship with him, your wife, Lord, and your children, and his grandchildren, Lord, Lord, that their memories will never, his memory will never forget, Lord, and we, Lord, we thank you for the Donovan Robert family, Lord, and those who are closer, Lord, to the faith, to encourage them, Lord, and hang on to the blessed hope in Christ, Lord. Lord, we pray that, Lord, and we believe in you, Lord, that you will give each and every one of us a safe journey back to home, Lord. But the greatest journey we are all looking for, Lord, is for your return. And we thank you in the wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Okay, so we're going to say goodbye to brother now. So we're going to go with that song, lovey. So if you just want to gather around. You got a fast car. And I want a ticket to anywhere. Maybe we make a deal. Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself
myself, I got nothing to prove. You got a fast car, and I got a plan to get us out of here. Been working at the convenience store, managed to save just a little bit of money. Won't have to drive too far just to cross the border and into the city. And you and I can both get jobs, finally see what it means to be living. See, my old man's got a problem. You live in the bottle, that's the way it is. Said his body's too old for working. His body's too young to look like his. So mama went off and left him. She wanted more from life than he could give. I said, somebody's got to take care of him. So I quit school and that's what I did. You got a fast car. Is it fast enough so we can fly away? Still gotta make a decision Leave tonight or leave it die this way So I remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast it felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us And your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belonged I, I had a feeling I could be someone Someone. You got a fast car We go cruising and entertain ourselves you Still ain't got a job So I work in the market as a checkout girl I know things will get better You'll find a work and I'll get promoted And we'll move out of the shelter Buy a bigger house, live in the suburbs So I remember when we Driving, driving in your car, speed too fast to feel like I was drunk. City lights lay out before us, and your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder. And I, I had a feeling that I belonged. I, I had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone. You got a fast car. I got a job that pays all our bills You stay out drinking late at the bar See more of your friends than you do your kids I'd always hope for better Thought maybe together you and me'd find it I got no plans, I ain't going nowhere Take your fast car and keep on driving So I remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast to feel like I was drunk City lights lay out before us And your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I, I had a feeling that I belong I, I had a feeling I could be someone Be someone, be someone You got a fast car Fast enough so we can fly away Still gotta make a decision Leave tonight or live and die this way Early morning There's a message on my phone It's my mother saying, darling, please come home I fear the worst But how could you leave us all behind? There's so much to say, but there's so little time So how do I say goodbye? Someone who's been with me for my whole damn life You gave me my name and the color of your eyes I see your face when I look at mine So how do I, how do I, how do I say goodbye When I couldn't You always saw the best in me Right or wrong, you 
are always on my side But I'm scared of what life without you's like And I saw the way she looked into your eyes And I promise if you go, I will make sure she's alright So how do I say goodbye someone who's been with me for my whole damn life? You gave me my name and the color of your eyes I see your face when I look at mine So how do I, how do I, how do I say goodbye? And there's no way you could ever let me down Gonna steal some time and start again You'll always be my closest friend And someday we're gonna make it out Just hold the light Just hold the light high, high. So how do I say goodbye To someone who's been with me for my whole damn life You gave me my name Dance with my mother and me and then spin me around till I fell asleep. Then up the stairs he would carry me and I knew for sure I was loved. If I could get another chance, another walk. Another dance with him I'd play a song that would never, ever end How I'd love, love, love To dance with my father again
to let me shine that's the way you always walk a step behind so I was the one with all the glory while you were the one with all the strength a view Without a name for so long, a beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you're my hero? And everything I would like to be. I can fly. you don't know 